Day two of the chocolate shop DIY mini dollhouse coming up. Hi again. It's the, it's the second day. Um, I went to bed and had to sleep. I stayed up too late. <laughs> You know how it goes when you get into one of these things you get really into it and so you just keep going and well i'll, I'll go to sleep in a minute I, I'll, I'll do this next section i'll do this next section well <laughs> ended up pretty late i don't know where in my mind i thought that i might finish this in one sitting nope <laughs> nope um anyways we are in the middle of this little thing called a little chocolate shop and some things are not working out as well as I'd hoped. Now I did get the glue off with fingernail polish remover last night. That worked out. Got that off there. I can actually feel things now. So we will get started in just a few minutes. I'm going to go ahead and set up and get this next section. As I was saying, some things were not working out quite correctly at all for me. <laughs> I have big hands. Really hard. I've not, well, even when I was little, I couldn't tie little bows. I've just always had that problem. We are on this section right here. So I've already cut out all my little pieces of the little metal cord or wire. The, the metal cord is the wire. <laughs> Anyways and this little fabric and these are little patterns that I'm going to be needing to use. So, yeah. That's what what we are doing next. I'm going to be wrapping the little wire around one of around the little spoke, little metal spoke and cutting out the two cloth and making the little chair.
Okay, the next thing we're doing is this finishing up this um, little bowl. I've got more little things to put in a little bowl and um, that should be what goes on the table with the book. So. It's the little tulip with, I guess, a little donut. And I've run out of red, so I may just do the white. Um, There's the table. The table. Now we're now we're going to be doing this, and it is little shopping bags. You see the little shopping bags? Okay, there we go. All three of the little bags, little handbags, are, you know, done. So I'll put those over here to, oh, 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 stuck, to dry. And now we will be going and flipping the page again. And now we're going to be doing a little flower garden. And these are the things I'm going to need. And I've pretty much, okay, those beads are bigger, so I won't be needing the little beads. Okay, and then the little grass and everything. So I'm getting close.
finished the little tulips. Okay, this is day three, and this is what I'm going to be doing. This little awning, I guess, is what you would call this over the over the the window or the entrance to the chocolate shop. So that's what we're on right now. And I will be needing this part. A nine A zero nine dash 36 okay and these two little these two little things right here the cat is chasing Frodo
and it says you need to make sure that you this one and this one see how it sticks out you want it to stick out this one and this one Next thing is we're going to do, I believe it's the door. I need that clear cellophane. I hope I ain't cut too much of that off because um, I'm going to need some more of this later. Um, and then we're going to be using these out of the...
we just did these right here. So let me show you of them. And they're the little fence. So I don't know, I had an extra one left of these. So I don't know if I'm supposed to put it like this or something with it. I don't know, it might just be an extra piece. Anyways, we are going on to the next thing, which is going to be out of the bee bag, all these pink things. And I believe this is gonna be the uh, window maybe. But it shows you right here exactly how to lap it in the corners, um, how to join it in the corners. Okay, so make sure you do it just right so it'll fit whatever it's fixing to, you know, go on.
this. this put the little lace in there and so now we're going to be doing the I think this is the floor and then this is a window so we'll be doing these We don't have a music box in this one for some reason. They have it in here. I guess if yours came with it or you had one, you purchased one to put in it, this is where it would go um, in these little holes down here. But we don't have it, so I guess the next thing we do is just make this little box to hide it, I guess. Um, and then we'll be putting the wallpaper on that. So we're getting close.
We might, I must have skipped these. This is the little signs that I gotta do. The little sign that goes on the wall and then on the street. And then the little, the, the window. I hope I have enough of this stuff left to go in that window. And then this last little bit right here. Let's see. Sure.
Okay, what we're going to do here is we're going to take two of these little pieces here and we're going to put them on the top and this is going to go around one side and then you're going to put the LED in and then you're going to put the other on it and it's going to be like a sign, a hanging sign that lights up. Day four, I think it's day four. Day four. So let's hope that we can get this done today. Stick with us, we'll wrap this whole thing up and see what it looks like. Okay, everybody, I'm sorry it's taken so long to get this whole thing done. Um, I started putting things in, but I ran out of my, um, let me see, I have it right here. Um, the Gorilla Super Glue with the brush and nozzle. I loved this because it, it dried within 10 seconds. And you only had to put it on one side. You didn't have to put a whole lot on it or anything like that. You didn't have to use the White Elmer's glue. I already had this and I had tried, I've tried the Elmer's Extreme. I've used that to put on some of the wallpaper. This glue, which I should have read, turned out to be plastic glue. It's just for plastic models, you know. So, it did nothing. I wasted time on that. And then I tried the clear glue from Gorilla and it must be old or something because it just turned totally, it's just like putting baby oil on it. Nothing stuck at all. So anyways, I love this. I ran out of it. I can't even get the brush out anymore because the br brush broke off because it wouldn't come out the, out the end because it had dried and all the bristles was out like this. I was trying to pull it out and I couldn't, 
I was trying to get every last little bit out of it as I could, but my daughter brought me some crazy glue. The only thing is I like the other one had a little brush so I could just, you know, paint wherever I needed it. This one, I'm going to have to, you know, be very careful how much I squeeze out of there with these big hands. Anyways, I have pretty much completed all the items inside, even the, even the, the lights and everything is done. So now all that's left is to put things in it and glue it so it won't move. I want it to stay. So um, that's what I'll be doing in this video, finishing it up, and then we'll take and we'll look at it really, really well. And and I will go over a little bit more on what I thought about this set and the review of who I think is able to do this and all those things, those wonderful things. So stick with me. Okay, you can see that I've already gotten everything pretty much. Now I just knocked this and so I'm gonna have to re-glue this little thing down in there. Uh, dirty and if you notice on this the the plastic um, and I did lose one of the little beads off of that one but that's okay um, if, if you can see I don't know if it'll show you but you can see how dirty because I put glue across on this wood and it just spread I didn't put a lot but you can see how it just kind of made it foggy so that kind of, and I'll let you see that really close, the way that that, the little things look inside the little case, and on the little cookies. So it has been very fun to, to do this. Um, there have been times where I'm just really, uh, flabbergasted or aggravated because something may not stick you know um, <laughs> that's the kind of thing that I was getting at when, I mean my review of this I will have to I will do that with you
the little case and um, because of the this didn't fit too well it kind of went above it it caused this to have a little bit of that which I could have sandpapered that or cut it down but it's okay it's gonna be inside there and you're not gonna really be able to notice it but you can see the little goodies in there aren't they so sweet they are not easy to put together they're little tiny things and you've got to put glue on them so your fingers get more glue than the little tiny things okay so this goes in there against the wall There we go. Now I don't have a little battery to put in it. It's one of these little teeny tiny um, watch type batteries, but it's bigger than a watch. I don't know, it's just weird, really weird. So I can't really light it up for you right now. I do believe I have finished everything on it. I'm gonna take and show you now what it looks like. I'm going to back it off a little so you can see exactly what it looks like. There's the little chocolate shop. It is done. It was not, t it wasn't real hard. You have to pretty much really be careful on getting your each section's um, supplies out each section do it by section by section exactly how it shows you in there and be very careful to look at the uh, they they give you a ruler and it's in centimeters so just make sure that some of the items like the ribbons and the sticks and things like that that you need the wires all have to be a certain size centimeter wise so you'll have enough don't just eyeball it like i did on some of the some of the things um and then i realized i was supposed to cut it to a certain uh length and that was early early on very early on and then you know once i caught myself i was able to keep from doing that again um and it does have a little light in this and you can see it goes around in the back where the lighting stuff is inside and it's hid. But um, it also has a light. You can see through the top. It has a light stuck here. And you can see how the super glue kind of made it look bad. But I think any glue was would, be, would show up on the plastic. So anyways, I really enjoyed using the super glue because it, it, it the, the Gorilla kind um, dried in 10 minutes. So within 10 minutes, 10 seconds or whatever it says. But anyways, you can see this side where the little, the little bag and the little um, book is in the seat and they've got a little sundae or whatever that is and then some chocolates and the little flower garden and 
it, like this, you have to have these things cut certain ways and then you bend them to a little template that it gives you. Um, so it, I wish I had to turn this around. I might could pull this up and turn it around. I don't like seeing the edges. I, I didn't pay attention to that. So, um, <laughs> but you can see on the inside there where the cabinet is and the little dairy cat and the little case with the cookies and things. It was fun. I did like it. I did <laughs> um, have some issues with folding things because they were just so simply tiny. This is supposed to have a little red ribbon on it. I just I have the hardest time tying bows, little teeny tiny tiny bows. I do have another one, like I said, another little shop to go next to this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a shelf for this room and I'm gonna put them side by side. And I could collect just about all of them. See in there at that door or that window over there, over on the other side, this window. You can see the, the little flags is in there and things. So yeah, I think y'all would love to do this. I really enjoyed it. Uh, in between the frustration of trying to, <laughs> trying to tie and glue little tiny, tiny folded things. But now that I've done this one, I know what I need to do for the next one. This one was pretty hard to be the first one to start. Now there's some that you even have to sew in. Beds and pillows, but they do give you all the supplies. Everything comes in it. The only thing that did not come in this one is the glue. I know the one that my daughter did that was a little bedroom come with its own white glue. Oh, you can see that little table in there, inside there, underneath the window um, over here. Amazon does have these on Prime. So there are some here in America that you don't have to worry about getting from China. If you order it now from AliExpress or Wish, you're gonna wait probably a month normally when there isn't a virus going on. But since there is a virus going on, um, you can imagine it's gonna be backed up. So if you're not in a hurry, go ahead and do it that way. But I hope that I could get a battery. The battery goes in here. And if you notice, um, it's a little, um, let me see here. If you notice, it's a, it's a little battery that goes in there. So I'm gonna get a battery and then do an update in one of my next videos with it being on. So keep an eye on that. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope, I hope it wasn't too long. I know it was several days. The next thing I'll do, I think I'm gonna be doing a diamond painting for Disney. If you have any suggestions, just let me know. We hope that you enjoyed this. Thank you so much and God bless.